Welcome in to the Fire Zone Show special edition. Little film session, film study. Uh, we ain't done these. We haven't done one of these in the preseason. I think we did one when they played the Panthers back in the preseason game. We did a little, little couple play yeah. session, but it's been a minute. Uh, so I'm excited. I'm looking forward to this. But as you can see on your screen, we are joined by a very special guest. Of course, always got Denar Melton at the fire show himself, but we are joined by the man, the myth, the legend, Coach Evans. Sip the tally films on YouTube. OC at God Be High School down in Tallahassee, Florida. Coach, what's up? How you feeling? Not much, not much. Uh just want to say that I am not a legend. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey you know you a legend for me because you know we've had you on deep cover podcast with chris and carrie a couple times and we've done some stuff where you straight up predicted the future some of them draft shows so <laughs> <laughs> you know the, the sun shines on the dogs but you know sometimes no <laughs> <laughs> yeah. man i know about that country slang right there <laughs> oh, I was born. I was born in Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. I know enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give you your flowers. You, you, you can be humble. I, I understand all that. But I, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate I, I it. Seen, I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, we got a lot to look at here. So I'm, I'm not gonna waste a lot of time. You know, in this part of it, we, we want to get into the film and really hear what you guys have to say and what you think about some of these plays but of course we're going to primarily be looking at Patrick Queen people already know I ain't have to say we're going to be looking at defense people who watch this show know how we roll this is all we do on here is talk defense but primarily going to be looking at the linebackers and Queen but we'll be taking a look at some of the other guys too whether it's Malik Harrison Chris Boer Josh Bynes you know once once uh they brought him back on and he started to play a little bit more snaps but before we do one thing I did wanted to say before we jump on the film, and I know people out there in the Ravens community on Ravens Twitter probably heard about this. Ravens M, Emily, you know, unfortunately passed away uh, this week. And I didn't know her. I never had the opportunity to interact uh, with her on Twitter. But just seeing the outpouring of love and support from people on Twitter, you can tell that she touched people's lives. Mm -hmm. You know, you could just tell that. Um you know, Lacey DaCosta, Eric DaCosta's wife, wrote a little thing for Russell Street Report, you know, about the time that she had an opportunity to meet her and get to talk to her and get to know her a little bit and the impact and the way that she touched her. So just want to, you know, send prayers out, condolences, you know, for for her loved ones and friends. And, um, you know, you saw it, I think, in a lot of the tweets that people shared about her. You never really know what somebody's going through, mm -hmm. right? We get on social media, we talk our stuff. <laughs> sometimes it gets a little too far, goes a little, little too far. Mm. And um, you don't really know how that's going to impact somebody. So, you know, as they were saying with those tweets, you know, keeping M's memory alive, because she was always positive from what I heard and what I saw and how she interacted with people. So, you know, ain't no reason we can't all live up to that. Right. right. Just be positive with each other, be respectful. And you got to agree. I ain't saying that, but, you know, at least be respectful of each other and, and keep it positive. So I just wanted to put that out there before we got in uh, into the film. So let's get into it. Uh, you guys, I'm just a driver. I'm like the chauffeur. <laughs> so y'all tell me when y'all want to stop, when you want to go back, when you want to, you know, how, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to let it roll until, you know, y'all give me, you know, direction on what you want to do so here we go let me I, I do want to preface this by saying i have been a big defender of pat queen a huge defender of of his his name so to speak but um we're about to see if i you know i know what i'm talking about <laughs> you're not alone i've <laughs> i've i've reached the patience button with him and understanding where he came from at lsu and what they taught him and how he played. I, I'm surprised where he is now, just right. speaking from what I've learned over the course of the last six weeks. So, yeah, let us roll and we'll, we'll, we'll continue down this road. Yeah, Coach, all three of us park our cars in the same garage on that. We <laughs> believe in the young man. We believe in the talent. We're not – jumping off the ship or jumping off the bandwagon. I mean, it's too early for that. You know, are there are there things that need to be improved? Obviously, everybody can see that. But 
you know, we, we believe in. So, yeah, let's roll. And I on this person, I'm just, to me, it's just he does a good job of getting off, and it's just obvious holding to me. This is one of you know to me that's that's a great job of like um, getting rid of the guard. I think it's a guard or the center, but the uh, center just realizes he's beat and reach out and grab a whole fist full of jersey. Yeah, I mean that's that's how you play it. That's how you're supposed to do it. Go downhill, attack, press, use your hands. Yeah, shit, great job of shit. Now on the other hand. Mr. Board, he makes this the reason why this is even why does he looks get like a crazy hold in the first place. Yeah, he widens that gap. Where are you going? So you're talking you got a about guy that. outside. You already yeah. have a guy outside. Yeah. But we were talking about this, you know, briefly before we jumped on. This is why sometimes Ravens defenses struggle. Because we we're so multiple as as a defense that when you don't have a, a home base, when you can't go home, and everybody's like, I know if I step right, everybody's going to step right. If I step left, everybody's going to step left. You don't know what the guy next to you is going to do because the call is so it's yeah. so driven, it's so team wise <laughs> driven that you're literally just basically told go attack the ball carrier and figure it out on the way. Yep. Yeah, I heard uh Sean Merriman was on uh Akeem Deleves podcast uh today or yesterday and he was going back to his rookie year with the Chargers and I want to say uh Wade Phillips was their DC and he had like a little contract dispute, you know, coming in as a rookie. So he said he didn't join the team until like the third day of camp. And it was their first day at pass. So he didn't know the playbook. He didn't know anything, right? So he said he was just out there just running around, doing whatever. And uh, he really kind of struggled with that throughout camp, even going into the season. And he said Wade pulled him aside one day and said, look, see ball, go ball. And he said, well, what are you talking about, coach? He said, you see the ball, you go to the ball. And he said for the first three games, that's all I did. He said, I didn't really know the playbook. <laughs> like, that's all I did. And he said, they're not like, both both him and Tlaib, you know, Tlaib played for Wade Phillips when he was with the Rams and with the Broncos. Uh, he said, not a lot of coaches that will let you do that. They're going to be like, look, you got to learn this playbook or you ain't going to play. Mm -hmm. But you know, Wade understood how to use guys and how to let them do what they did best until, you know, maybe they could get up to speed on some other things. So, so well, that was he's, he's part of that Rex Ryan force you know, four or six mentality, like, it don't matter. I'm bringing it anywhere and everywhere. We'll just we'll figure it out. <laughs> By the way, he said he got the nickname Lights Out from high school because he knocked out four dudes in one game. <clears throat> wow. Yes. He was a menace at, at, at Maryland in, in the high school system. All right, go back, go back, Mike. Yes, sir. Where you want to go? Uh, I'll tell you when to stop. Now, like, why not just attack? You're standing there, like your foot, your foot, like you're in cement. Why not just attack it and go? Let it go a little further. I think this is one of the ones I had notes on, like a couple frames. Now, right now, that part that toward the end, because he didn't attack, he let Clyde that was the last set up the blocks because he didn't just go blow it up. Yeah. He said, right, that's a great stopping point. He said right there, and he should have shot that gap. And then made it was a or redirect in the backfield instead of letting him work up field and redirect. Because now Matt BK didn't get enough um pressure, I mean, enough penetration. So he's a sitting duck for that double team. But one of them guys come off the double team. He's in a perfect position to be solo blocked off the double team because he didn't just attack it. Yeah. And, and keep the go back to if you can go back to that frame before you let it go. I'm right. sorry, it, stop it before. But to double up on, on what coach was saying. Like here. Right there. If Queen had pressed it from the very beginning, Tavon Young 
would not be hanging out in space having to read it. Right. So if Queen attacks early, Tavon can trigger quicker because now the running back has to make a decision to cut back into the C-gap where Tavon is waiting. Yeah, he don't even have an option. He got to go C-gap. Got to go c to be right there. So this is why I always talk about how run defense is like a dance. It's like everyone has to be on the same sheet music. But I do want to say this. In most of these clips, let's not forget, though, the guys that should be commanding double teams up front are not. Yes. Juicy, Very important. No, Matabike, no. Um, I can't remember the other guys, but those guys are not making the double team stay. Like uh, if in this clip right here where you got to stop that, uh, whoever that is off to the to my left of uh, Juicy is already coming off to go to the linebacker. Yep. And then the same look, the double team with Matabike right beside it. The center or the goal, whoever that is, 62, is already coming off. They're not, they not having to stay on double teams, which allows you know Mike to run. And this is where Queen can help the situation if he triggers quicker. Mm-hmm. Go right so there. He's opening up right there now. in front of you. Yeah. It's Him and Harry right trigger you. right now. I don't care what you're looking at. If you trigger right now, you solve nine out of the ten problems. If they bootleg out, guess who's over there? O-way Tavon Young. Yeah, yep. Oway and Tavon Young. You got two C gap people. Yes. So we're I Harrison hasn't moved the entire play. <laughs> I didn't even look at Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I didn't pay attention to that. I know it's the second game of the season, but go hit something. Let's see what, let's, let me look at Harrison. Not really. Not really at all. Every every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> and hold on, stop right there before you even run it. I have a serious issue who is teaching stances to these linebackers. Serious fundamental issue with it. His stance is way too wide to be able to play football because his first step has to be inward to close and his up. head's going to pop up. And he, can you play football that way? No, you can't play basketball with it. You can't play any sport you've ever walked onto a court, field, ice rink, Ping pong, they're in a they're bent knee. So, how do you think you're gonna play football when your first step is gonna be this? Yep, you can't do it. No way. And Queens play. is notorious for it. He doesn't even get set half the time. I, it drives me insane as a coach. Like I understand stemming and and doing what you need to do to do what you need to do, but there are two rules to stemming. One, you better be in the gap that you're supposed to be. And two, you better be ready to play football. Yep. If one of those two things are not happening, I'm going to stop you from stemming and just tell you to stop moving. Yep. Hey, y'all said it all. Y'all thought y'all was just going to come here and hear about defense. You didn't know you was going to hear about ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even know. We cover it all. <laughs> Run defense drives me insane when it's just not done right. We're better there. The yeah, I'm just saying, this is a good job of activating. Yeah. But keep get coming. In keep coming. Yep. Bag it up, please. Keep coming. Mike. Yep. Hold on. Did it go? Oh, that's the next play. Hold on. Let me get back. Yeah, that's this one. <laughs> coming. But this, is, again, is game rep. It's mm-hmm. learning the position. So go back. I'm gonna ask you to pause it for me one second. Okay. Right after they shift. Now, okay. now, all right. If if I'm looking at it, I'm assuming because of the shift, he now has the backside a gap, the a gap almost right where his right foot is, and when he yeah. sees that, he doesn't have he doesn't have any boot responsibility. So why not shoot? Because he's fast enough to split that guard that 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 center. Why not just shoot it right now? And if, and if it's if it's play action, so we gotta try to get out of there. But just just let it go a little bit. You see what I'm talking about? He should shoot that gap right there. Right see what between right because the guy he's right, the guard's right in front of him. The center's already engaged with Calais. Shoot that right now. Hit it in the mouth. Mm-hmm. And then if, this, even if the guard reaches out to you, he got to hold you. 
and and I will say this: this is where the nose guard is not commanding a double team. Because mm-hmm. even though Juice made the tackle, the center had no respect for him. Well, the, the, the guard had no respect for him. The guard just stuck his hand out there and went. That may be the center. Yes, the center the coming the second back. Now, I wanted to ask y'all something about this, and you you saw the shift. You talked about the shift, Coach, and you're going to see this going through the next couple of clips. So to the right side of the offensive line, this four-man surface, a lot of teams started doing this against them, right? And I know you're creating extra gaps. You're bringing down guys into the fit who normally don't, you know, have to fit the run a lot, like corners and stuff like that. But it looks like they reload the D line, right? Because they've got like a six offensive line. And this guy over here is an actual tackle. He's an mm-hmm. extra right. Player, right. And it looks like they reload the line so that now the guard is really the new center. Mm-hmm. Right. That, that, that kind of thing. Uh, right. So so Queen has Queen has a gap strong in, in the sense of it. A gap right. strong and C gap strong. See, this is why I don't like the three four sometimes because you get outflanked with the extra guy. Now Queen's probably thinking, what if this back decides to cut back? And I can see him thinking that in his brain because I got two, I'm a two gap guy now. Mm-hmm. And and Ellis is not helping me in no type of way. Yeah, you can see he lets that guy come right off. Yep. It makes it easy for him. Makes it easy for him. And you'll see more of that. You're going to see that four-man there's, service. I think there's even a clip in here from the Broncos where they put five over there. This drives me insane. I, I just, I can't. Now, just looking at it from that view, McPhee does a great job of pressing the puller. But where's the linebacker? Right there. That's a great job at McPhee. Who got double teamed out of next week? It looked like. Mm, Who Calais. is that? Calais. I think that's Calais. 93. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm. That's the look at the back of plays this year, but, you know. Mm. He, is, mean, he, he is 75 like years old. <laughs> but you. No, now of. you know what? Now, I thought he got double teamed out, but he did no, a great he, job of holding that tackle, so he couldn't yeah, get to the linebacker. So he stayed should have showed up. Yeah, see, holding the hold, he, somebody got to show up right there. I thought it was bad, but looking at it from this point of view, he's he's taking up two blockers like he should. Yep, and linebacker got to be there. Well, this is where not Queen, the puller, but here's where Queen has to be patient. This is where I wish. Raven linebackers were taught three steps like we were looking at that clip earlier about the pull. He's in the line it, too fast, not reading the pull. Yeah, he's 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 happy feet. He's right. what is that? Five yards? It's early? Five. I don't think that's five. He's like four and a half with his heels. Yeah. Like, that's why are you triggering right. right now with a guard pulling? Right. You and should this be is scraping, you should be scraping right with that guard pulling. And this is what I wanted to ask you guys because I know on that previous that Chiefs play is a different concept. It didn't it didn't have a puller like this, mm-hmm. but it's like now he's doing what you were suggesting. Coach, like, hey, I see an open window, I'm gonna shoot it. No, he didn't shoot it though. But, no, he didn't. He was going. He, he took was going that to. He was Had going he shot to. it, I would have said something different. But see, then he paused right there. Mm-hmm. Right. But that's, if, if he go if he go through right there and shoot his shot, he makes that tackle in the backfield. Yes. If you're gonna he's be wrong, indecisive. go 100 miles an hour. Yes. Because you can see, oh, go, go right, go. There. just go, go, just go. <laughs> if you're wrong, you're wrong. <laughs> just go. But just because go. he doesn't go, now he gets pinned mm-hmm. by a jelly. Because then he re- then he realizes, oh shit, there's a puller, and he's too close to the line of scrimmage. If he tr- if he goes through there, and even if he misses the tackle, that back is now off track and has to bounce. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. But once again, as, as my head coach oh, says he he uh, blocked destruction. That's what that would yeah. have been. Yes, and and once again, the call hamstring the Ravens and run defense because you're asking Queen to be the a gap defender and the scraper. It's tough. 
Yeah, because when you get this puller, right, and like you said, Coach McPhee does a good job, but you would have somebody fitting inside Mm -hmm. that puller too, right? And I think that's supposed to be Queen. But it's supposed know. to be Queen because McPhee is go back to pre, arm go back pre, pre, pre snap. Go back to pre snap. They might have us outnumbered over there too. So right. No. They're I mean, they got the angles, but that's why Campbell kind of gets skinny because he knows yeah, he that, has that, that guy that should fit in that is Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with that, that guard pulling. And when you're the gonna take him head on, yep. With that guard pulling. He should be scraping over the top. You're waiting on the, the watch call, waiting on the running back. Yeah. But what is Chuck Clark doing? See, here's here's the other issue. You don't know what's going on. Chuck, this is, yeah. once again, going back to the, the foundation and base and scheme and having something you can lean on. We got two Why is gap. Chuck Clark going towards the line of scrimmage? If he's doing his job, which I'm assuming is not blitzing, Again, in that situation, it's two people in the same gap. Why we got two people in the same gap? That's not not gap integrity. Because it really works out that there's two pullers here, right? I didn't even realize that was Malik on the line of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah, that's like I was telling you. They've been they've been putting. In- they went in the bare front. Yeah, they were mm-hmm. just the call, the call, the call, the call. So you see this tight end, right off. He basically tries to become that, a They got to be two tights because if that's Barry Malik should be over the tight end. Is that two tight ends? That Hawkinson and somebody yeah, else? Yeah, the guy he's yeah. covering up. The guy yeah. he's covering up, that's that extra tackle. Yeah, they were doing that. Even drives me more insane. Well, where is Chuck Clark going? Right. That's but your if man. It, I'm if if anything, in my eyes, Malik should have been over the tight end and Chuck should have been sitting where Malik is playing that gap. Yeah. And if you want, if you wanted to do a better matchup wise, Tyus should have been in there, and Chuck should have been outside because Chuck don't want no none, nothing up in there. No offense to Chuck. No, but we continue to put him in the box, right? When we're in four man front with two linebackers, and we wonder why their teams get six yards a pop with with eleven personnel in the game. It's going to get better, folks. I promise you. <laughs> we started out this way on purpose because we want to end on a on an up note, on a positive note. This first series drove me insane. Once again, the stances. Jesus, please. Where you going? Just walk. What? Where you going? Oh, the wrong button. Hold on. Like, did anybody pull or anything? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you got a down block. No, it's 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 an inside. No, it's zone. Split, almost it's split, split. zone. Big split flow, yeah. Because that tight end is coming. See, there's that four man. This is the one where they got into a five. One. They're it's already five, four man service. Oh my goodness. And they brought eighty one over there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't let. Hold on, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all eleven. If that's all eleven. Why not bump ties down and let Avery have a seat yet? That's all 11 right there. If I'm not mistaken, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, that's everybody. <laughs> why Why do I have my free safety at, uh, at 18 yards deep? I know. Because you don't what have a receiver in the game. Burn you? All you got is tight end. 81 is a receiver, but he's like a big tight end type yeah. receiver. Anything coming at you is coming at you, straight at you. You Let will see you. it. <laughs> so, as you guys, you know, both, both coach and have coached, is there some kind of adjustment they're supposed to make on the field when they see this? When Man, there's away? five guys on the right side of the center, and we only got four. So you, you add the, the running back to that. That's six on four. So all the center has to do is cut off the nose, and then they got the nose on the right side. So Brandon Williams needs to go one gap. To the left. To the left. Is that – who's that? Calais. Calais. Mm-hmm. needs to move down into the gap. Tyus should slide into, inside that tight end or whoever that is. And Avery just got a man up on the C-gap on the outside. No, you can leave Tyus and just tell him to press it and leave Avery to kind of fit outside in. But then your split folk, your split folk going to bust that open in. You got you to gotta leave something because yep. they've got you manned on one side. Unless they're going to bring back with like see, a, see how the tight end releases? 
When you rather have Avery Garnett than Bowser? Like I said, you gotta give up something when they come <laughs> into this. You, you can't cover everything. You're right. You use right. that bluff to widen that gap, right? He's mm-hmm. not really out. He's just stretching that guy out. And then you got the other tight end coming back. Yeah. And he, when you do split flow, you really you want to hit the play side, but the money is is right off that 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 split guy. Yep. That's where the money is. But this also, this is I'm glad we showed this just in the grand scheme of things. Wait a minute. This is how teams set you up. Yes. In the second half. Yep. Because you see how the Ravens lined up. If they lined up the way I had said, they would have came back with that same play, with the same action, and had Bowser by himself with Avery yep. on a wheel. And it's been one on one between. Is that not Fent? You know, Fent pretty fast. Yep. Yeah. That's what they're trying to set up here. They wanted mm-hmm. to see how you lined up. And since Avery is outside and deep, they know he's got help on the outside. So mm-hmm. they're not going to run this ever again in the game. Right. But if Avery was up on the line of scrimmage or anywhere else, they would have came back to this. True that. And I would have came back to it if I saw that look. I'll take my chances with, with Fant versus Biles up the sideline. And with Avery, actually. They may have not been able to run it because Teddy got hurt in the first half. Oh yeah, Drew Lock yeah. came in. That kind of that kind of changed the deal. Yeah. Oh Malik, I remember watching this live on TV. I thought Malik was gonna make this tackle right there. Why you gonna make that? I thought he got. It. But Melvin Gordon, I mean, that's a nice little cut. A nice little jump cut. It is. It is. I can't can't have complete blinders on. It's a nice little. But that's on. That missed tackle though. This tackle. This is what people it's really. Tackle. About you know the fan base, and this tackle. So why you get closer? Now you in the wash, and you overrun it. I'm being a hero. Come on, I Mike, think we talked go about that today. <laughs> go to the next one, Mike, before my head start hurting again. Okay. Yeah, I think we <laughs> talked about that today about hero tackling, trying yeah. to be the big man on campus. We talked about it last week. Yeah, Wink talked about it too. Like they try yep. and he said, "You got to go for the knockout blow every time." Yeah, and, I, and I didn't notice the stands until you said something. Um, but just looking at this game when pre snap, they just standing there. Yeah, they just standing up. And I don't think I don't even think Queen's in on this one, but they just standing up. This Bynes and Harrison. And you know, Bynes six, seven this years is, ago, you might make this tackle. This is also his first game, game right now in of the season. So he gets a oh, little bit. I gotta let knee be in. Bynes See, gotta look. let knee be in before the snap. And but Bynes is this making is, now. I wanted tackle. to ask y'all about this. Bynes is making that tackle. See, this is now. A little, yeah, this is what I wanted to ask y'all about because I think he did this to me in a way that we were kind of criticizing Queen for. See how he's kind of sitting behind that double team, mm-hmm. but I think it's different with him because he knows what he's doing. He knows why he's, <laughs> he's sitting behind. So this this is a difference. He's technically still in his gap. See, he's still in his gap. He just got no. tackle. Well, this he is different his game plan, Mike. Time. Well, so he understands what's going on with play away, so mm-hmm. he becomes the will cutback guy. Yeah. yeah. So in the will's mind, you know you've got cutback. So play away, you have to sit, you have to hold. Unless it's true pass, then you get out. Mm-hmm. But you have to wait. You have to wait. You have to wait. Because most, if you most still hold, cutback guys are not allowed to cross the center. Yes, just wait. Now, once again, you're not getting help from your from Broadwick Washington on that. He should be getting more penetration up the field to keep you cleaner. All right. They they blocked they blocked Broderick two two binds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's that four man service again. I like to mention that. And like the double team went to binds. Fan just happened to miss it. Yep. And and uh Tybo, he just, you know, couldn't get off that block. And that's bad. That's bad containment, too, by, by Bowser. Yes. Why are you going down the line? Right. I can already tell you what the problem is. I don't even <laughs> look at those. This wasn't even the real long one. The real long one is actually on the good. T- right. <laughs> Believe it or not. 
Because I like, thought they had- you're a better athlete than Mertz, man. He shouldn't get two or three, two or three attempts to, to block you. Yeah. Give him something and get off of that. Tell me about in real time about the stimmy. I remember you told me about this one because you're like, well, this is what I'm talking about. This is yeah. why coaches go nuts when I tell you don't stem and then be late to the party. You know you're about to get caught. Don't go back to where you were. Oh, they Stay where you were. Play football. They you stop. So if Queen stays where he was instead of trying to get back before the snap, this is a null and void play. Stay where you are. But again, yeah. watch, watch, 90, watch 98. We pay you all this oh, money. Uh, we need two people blocking get, you. Mm, don't get me started on that, young man. We need two people blocking you. That and guess who that is blocking them? Uh, Mike Cushionberry. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. My guy, Lord. Yep. He been doing his thing out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Whew. All right. <laughs> we're almost there. We're almost at the end of the other not so good. We got a couple please, more. Please. Then we're going to move on. Now, the, the 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 shed by the first guy is okay. Yeah, this little slip right here. Mm -hmm. oh. See, that's nope. enough to do that nope. to a lot of people. Nope. nope. Mm -mm. You want him to take it on. You don't want to see that slip. I, I think that's the problem. If you he try to take stuff on and he ain't thick enough to do it. I don't know the technique <laughs> to do it. If you're going to slip, you better get there. <laughs> if you're going to go through the back door, you better not stop. You better go. So I'm saying it was a good slip on the first guy. He was where he yeah. was supposed to be, but he allowed the second guy to get hands on. Him. He just stopped his feet because mm -hmm. he didn't trust his eyes. Be right there. That's good. That's Michael. slip. Now, now go. Oh, because he well, allowed well, a backside. He allowed a backside guy who was behind him. To block him, <laughs> this is the watch where the dude who come from that block him. But once again, that's the left tackle. Yeah, but once again, here we are about scheme. They have motion. This is. I remember. Oh yeah, somebody ain't lined up. Somebody ain't right. Somebody not where they're supposed to be. You got Malik and Queen standing right beside. Yeah, the show. so <laughs> what's wrong there? When I was in college, we would play Maine. League still almost made it. Tackle. The Black Bear is up there, mm -hmm. and they they did a lot of shifting, a lot of trading, a lot of motions, a lot of pre-snap stuff to see what you did. And our coach always told us when we went into the game, we're not moving, we're not shifting, we're not changing strength. We have three linebackers. You can play Will sometimes, you can play Sam sometimes, and we're just going to move with it. And then they would just stop with the motion, literally after the first series. Because we're just not going to move around. You're not going to confuse us. You're not going to get, get you out of your fits. Yeah, we're 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 not moving. Like game on, come run at. It. This is why teams do this, and which is why I feel like the Ravens are too much of a scheme team. Because this because problem this is not a good play. We're just out of alignment. It's yeah. people Ooh. trading places. You got two guys moving. You got Clark Ooh. going back down. You got. Two guys over here pointing because one guy's going in motion. He just went the other way. Right. Who, so you got guy? seven guys communicating, they're and they're about to snap the ball. Who's, who's got the B gap over there on the left? Right. Nobody. I got seven Nobody. guys still talking. <laughs> <laughs> and they won this game. <laughs> Came back. I got seven guys talking. The ball's being snapped. Like, if we were in Pee Wee football, everybody be running. <laughs> yep. Oh, who missed that? I think that's Lee. <coughs> Lee. See, and he's around the ball a bit, quite a bit. But then you see, you know, just, you know, stuff like that. That's a blitz call. Movement. That's why Queen's going where he is. I, it, it, and I, I don't. I don't know the call on this, so I don't want to bash him too bad. But it looks like he avoids. Does he look like that to you? Who's like avoiding? Just, Queen. I wanted to ask y'all because y'all, when you get this split flow and you get this tight end coming backside, 
somebody has to fit outside that tight end, right? But is it supposed to be Queen? I think it's supposed to be the whoever the C-cap guy is. No, Queen is once again trying to play hero ball. It should, it should, in this case, it should be Houston. Houston should, should smash that, that split flow guy in his mouth. Yep. So Queen saw the late tight end coming back in motion on a pull and thought, oh, I'm going to sniff this out. Mm-hmm. And, and if, got if, if we're a spiel team, um, uh, Houston should wrong shoulder it. And if yep. we're a box team, he should take that right shoulder and crash that hole down as much as possible. Queen should not be there. No. Look at the but team. I don't think they have a philosophy on that because they changed how they fit play to play. Because I, I can't say we're a spill team or we're a, a box team. No, so we do both. <laughs> and we might do something different on back-to-back plays. We, in college, we were a spill team. And the only time we were a box team is when we were in zone fire. Mm-hmm. That was we knew that because zone fire. All right, we're boxing them. Other than that, we were spilling. This one they just called them. I, I didn't put this on here to like point out anything in particular, but they they rushed up. They're unbalanced, so you got to figure all that out real quick. But I will say this and that: if you're the mic, you have to stay. A gap behind. So not necessarily a gap behind, but you got to stay behind and run a little bit. So when he turns up, you got to be there. But you got you got you to trust the rest of your defense that he didn't, he not gonna get the edge either. Yeah, and see here's that five man service guy. I mean, I told you it kept kept showing up. Once certain teams, the earlier teams were having success with it, I kept seeing it. <laughs> people just kept doing it to him. Mike, that's six. Oh yeah, you're right. One, two, that's six. Five, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I looked at how the quarterback was. That's a six man surface. Yep, I missed it. You're right because it's it's unbalanced tackle over. Yep, with the tight end. Yep. And, and they're they're just not, did they have? Did they even have? Um, you lined up right. My favorite lineman this game. Did the coach even have have him? Nope. No, no, nah, he didn't play this game. He was out. Whoever was his replacement just cut. Uh, <laughs> we're trying to cut somebody there. But once again. If we are in our normal, if we're in a normal functional defense, we're not having these issues on the goal line. We're not trying to match up on the goal line. A lot of coach plays in here. I forgot about that. Hopefully, this is the last one from Colts. All right, let's see. Queen and bull. See, something's not right on that either. Cause he just, I, I don't know what he's what he's looking at when his feet are still. His feet should never be still. Like just standing there. Just go. See, watch. They line if up there. Wrong, if you're wrong, be wrong. But go. And then they shift out of the over. Kind of. I don't know. What, I, don't I don't know, know why he moved back. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> I, I don't know. He's playing shade. And then he's like, well, let me. I'm going to go back. Now you got two. He got nothing but center in his lap. Right. And again, even though Queen makes his mistakes, you them, your front, you got to demand. Somebody got to take up two blockers. Somebody has to. Because offense, I'm an offensive guy. And if we get a hat on a hat, we're going to win that every time. Hmm. If we get a hat on a hat, we're going to win that well, almost every time. I, I I honestly think in the in the press, I think the interior line of the defensive line has been getting a pass on the issues that is what ails what's going on right now. Because to your point, here's that center coming We can off. blame the linebackers all we want, and Queen runs around and does nonsense stuff. But our D-line does not help right. at all. I agree. Now, I, I'll definitely – Queen gets all the blame for missed tackles. But as far as looks like this, like the the seven eight is already coming off. All he's done is thrown his back hand, and he's headed to the linebacker. Mm-hmm. And we paying this man thirteen fourteen million dollars. Getting turned, like a game right. Of getting salt. turned, right? Exactly. Like a game of that salt. turn is that right there is going the gap that he's going to run through. Like he's already turned. He's lost. Right. 
he's not. Doing. He's not the person he was when he could press that guy into the hole, right? Like he did for the first five years of his career, for six mm-hmm. years of his career. Yeah. The thing is, if all if they run outside zone and any offensive lineman turns the guy, that's where the hole gonna be. Yep. That's where the hole gonna None. be. It's Queen's rap. Unless Queen fires right. right now, <laughs> you gotta go and slams that slams that that center in his chest. That's the only way this this play survives. And another thing, Chuck has no chance versus seventy eight. Mm-hmm. Oh Lord, help us all! No chance no, or seventy nine or whatever it is. No chance. Whoever it is, anybody with a seventy number, right? But this, <laughs> this is why. This is what I'm talking about. When they get when people get in eleven personnel or personnel where we end up. With Chuck Clark in the box next to Patrick Queen, and we're sitting in on TV like, why are they running off eight yards a clip? That's why. You got 216 and 205 in the box with light personnel on the on the D-line. Yeah, you got Malik up there again on the line outside tight end. Yeah. But you're not getting help inside. They got five you. Let me, let me, let me winning, like but you you're said, not getting anything from your nose or your three technique. When when are we gonna just play guys until they're tired? So the guys that are playing can get a feel for what the guys next to them are gonna do. Does that make sense? Yes. I, if I know if next to Calais, I know Calais got these attributes and can do this. That means I can do X. Then if I, you know, when he gets tired, if I'm still in and I know Brandon's in there, I know Brandon can do. X, Y, Z, and I can do Z. But when, when every play is juicy, then it's Brandon, then it's – and I understand the guys get tired faster than, than others, but still. If you think – think about the Steelers. They play their guys 85 to 90% of the snaps in a game. Yep. It, 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 I only, they, they bring 15 guys on the bus. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Anybody get hurt? No matter. <laughs> You just go pick up his stats. Like 15 guys play for the Steelers. That's it on defense every week. I see again, like you said to me with the call, who's who's got the cutback? What is Brandon Williams doing? He playing the boot. He playing the he, Playing Chuck, hero Chuck ball. The boot. <laughs> he playing the hero the ball. Guy. What are we doing? He playing the Q. What? What are we doing? Chuck's the boot guy, and I bet that's what I bet that's where he cuts back. Oh, without a doubt, that's the whole hit. Oh, right there, cut right there. I dropped. No. I dropped. <laughs> you can see it from the uh, from the wide. There's no, there's nobody else. Back oh there. my lord, where are we going? Because there's nobody else back there. These boys down at the bottom. I don't know what's going on out here with these corners down here. I mean, look. I understand the point in this game, but that ain't gonna get it there. <laughs> that ain't gonna get well, it. Well, here's here's the thing. Okay, maybe the game's getting away from you, right? I mean, just watch my what if Brandon Williams is in his hole? That ain't gonna get it. And he does that jump cut and the ball hits the guy on the and, and the football hits Brandon Williams on the helmet. And it goes back for six the other direction. Now all of a sudden it's a 34, 20, 31, 24 game. But you decided to be an individual, yep. and now it's 41 17. This is the last one. And coach, I think this might be double A, so you might want to look away on this. Oh, Lord. Lord, what are you doing? High face. You got the stiff arm in the, in the, in the, in the face. High face. I'm going to look away. Oh, Lord. I, I, I never said he was a tackler. <laughs> but see, <laughs> excuse me, but see, I was telling somebody before that I felt so stupid after that. I was like, you know what? He 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 shows up and runs support more than more than, like it surprised me. But you know, he cuts guys. He's a cut on team. the edge. Yeah, on the edge. This is in the middle of this is in the middle of the field. <laughs> and see, that's well, why I, was, you guys, I will like, say this. Way. He did not anticipate that cut back all the way that way. When you got 10 guys in the box as a corner, I wouldn't expect this cut back. <laughs> Here's his four again, and now you got these guys in the fit on the inside. Mm-hmm. Like he, I think, end up becoming the cutback. Look, look at Chuck. And look again. There's Chuck that. Ain't built for it. He's on look the set. Look at Chuck. 
So, so, can you really blame him? No. Yeah, no. Chuck got ran up out of there. Yeah. But Chuck got destroyed. Why is Queen running outside when you got a guy outside? Like, what are we doing? I don't know where he's going. Hold on. Let me see from the wire. Where's he going? Yeah, Elliot goes. Where's he going? I don't know. I don't know, man. This is why this is why practice was a horror show after game like this. They're not good. I think this was the last one. So yeah, they're trying to figure it out over there. Him and him and Elliot. Who's going, who's not going? Head scratcher. I would just have this play on loop in the castle for the next two weeks. Okay. That's oh, it. I'm sure, I'm sure it has been. That's it. That's it for the for the not so I good think been on loop all week. Look, let's cleanse the palate. A little bit. Let's try. Can we try? There's nothing. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, but see, that's what we we don't want you leaving like that. We don't want you leaving like that. You know what I'm saying? But that's a good thing, though. Gotta go see your kids. Come on, let's let's. No, no, no don't don't do that. Don't try <laughs> to play that way. <laughs> let's 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 get something positive. Get some positive vibes, right? Like be nice vibes. Oh, positive vibes only in here. Get some Brandon Stevens up in here. <laughs> a, pre- a pleasant surprise. Damn, I won't collect on the cigar. I know we had a bet on him, Coach. We had a bet on Stevens. I don't think I'm going to have to pay, but I don't know. We'll and you, know you know, On this play right here, I remember writing this down. Queen has the, the B-gap, and he doesn't trigger. And a lot of people say, well, why he didn't go? But you got to think about it. As many RPOs as they got, we gotta watch he, he got to stay there. You got to watch that glance. He got to stay there. <laughs> It was it was the call. He mm-hmm. was stuck there because they knew what they what Kansas City would like to try to do in this point. And that's Tyree, and they're at three. Yes. Yep. You got to watch that glance, baby. That's that's great discipline right there. Yeah, because if he triggers and they throw that glance, that's it might be six. <laughs> it might be six. <laughs> to the crib. <laughs> to the crib, dancing. To the to the crib. Because you could fall back in late on that B gap, mm-hmm. and that somebody got a good penetration there too. Was that Calais? Let's go back and see. Oh, no, it's Matt BK. He showed up a lot in this game. Yeah. He's been quiet. So you see that from the wide. He basically knocks that dude back into the running back. Mm-hmm. Yep. So and allow, allow yeah, people to come and up. I, I, and I DM Denard this during the week. I said, man, I didn't realize how important D-line play is to linebacker play. Yes. <laughs> I had no idea. You can be the best linebacker in the world. If you got D tackles in front of you that play like hot garbage, you're gonna be hot garbage. If they're getting blocked to you, definitely. <laughs> now see Broderick Washington, they put a tight end over you. That's what you're supposed see, to do. See, you got pressure right there by somebody. It they makes brought- it just makes it better. Was that 96? Yeah. They put Hawkinson over you. That's what you're supposed That's to do. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> you're a D tackle, no tight ends should block you. Not Kittle, exactly. not put this dude not over nobody. You. And, and if he does, you, you're going to be sitting next to the water cooler wondering. Yeah. I'm not even going to talk to you the rest of the day. You right. Put him back to it. And that's what he did. See, they came out again with this four man. They lined up to it differently. See how they reloaded. Mm-hmm. Like, and now they're good. Now, but here, here's what I would say Queen, so, once again, needs to be a little slower because he doesn't need to fire so quickly to the A gap. There's nothing that tells him a gap. But my thing is, again, if you're going to fire, fire all the way. If you're going to yeah. shoot your shot, shoot it. Shoot it. Keep going. Right. Don't get there and stop because now you 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 mess it up for everybody. You know for how one, people you ain't in your, for one, you ain't in your gap. Yeah. And for two, you, you, you playing slow. Yeah. You know how people criticize Welsh? We were watching that, I think, the play in the Panthers game. And he missed that tackle in the backfield because he fired so quickly. Yeah. I rather have that. Yeah, because he fired all the way. He fired all the way, made the running he back did. bounce. There wasn't left. Wasn't nothing yeah. left. Made the running back bounce. Now I, I got guys running the football. They can make plays. Yeah. I can live with that for the rest of my life. A guy just going in there and making a running back change direction, do everything. Because yeah. to your when point, Queen stops his feet. make this play. Elliot's blocked. Tybo's got to come off. 
a block. If Broderick doesn't make that play, I mean, I guess you got Avery. Avery was coming. He was crack replacement. So you had but this Averitt. is also a COVID game in towards the D-line. So Yeah. Who McKenzie showed me a little something in this game. Khalil McKenzie's yeah. nine. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay. You got a little something there. But the Lions are 0 and 7. That is true. It is the Lions. <laughs> if you're going to have a COVID game, this would be uh, right. <laughs> and it took us a Okay, now this uh, might be the memorable long, uh, field goal to win that game. This might be the long one, but I actually thought – no, that's not the long one. The long one is on here, but I thought the long run – I thought they actually fit it right in terms of the linebackers. It just – Now, with, with, pause, with that look, nobody should touch Queen. With that look pre-snap, nobody should touch Queen. You got a right. zero and, and two, two threes. You're an eagle front. That is designed to touch Queen. Second. Nobody. So who, what in the world happened? They get the puller. So he, he, he did what he's supposed to do. Did what he but he got to take that outside gap. He got to take that. He got to take that puller on with to his outside gap to make that cut back inside to the hill. Yeah. He kind of sort of does it, but not aggressively, if, if that makes sense. But here's Mike, you run it and stop it literally at a point of almost tackle. Right there. Where, if I am a defensive player, what technique am I am I telling everyone else on the field? Because he literally just took the guy on head up. Right. Yep. Is he spilling? Are we boxing? Like this is the little things why they get gas. Yeah, because look, he just boom. See, see how he stopped his feet? He should just go and try to blow that outside shoulder up of that goal. Or that, go that ahead would, and that protect him on the inside shoulder. Now go on the inside shoulder. But then again, you, you don't know what you're doing. If you're spilling on your box. Yeah. yeah. If he climbs on the inside shoulder, at least the running back has to make a jump cut outside. Mm-hmm. Like, Because <laughs> why Stevens? Why Stevens have to jump around the wide receiver coming to block him? He doesn't know which way Queen's going. He's like, right. do I got, do I got to get outside this thing. What, what, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> the nuances. Okay, so this I or think, lack of nuances. This one. Yeah, this is. You no, know, that's not. Hey, I thought for sure I put that clip on here. These are good though. It, it's at the end. There's that look again. There's my cut tackle by my man. Coming in there, 23. Right? So you get the little zone flow. No, no, that's Chuck. My bad. That's Chuck. Coming in. He's trying to press him, but once again, he's he's in a bad call. One linebacker in the box. He's going to be wrong regardless. And he's still not getting any help up front. The thing I liked a little bit better about this, though, is how you remember how you were saying, okay, when that, that nose is getting reached, He's if he if he can't get knocked back on that and that guy's gonna reach him, like Queen's gotta go front side like right now. Mm-hmm. He's still not right now, but it's better. Right. It's better. It's like it's like in his mind say go, but then his body like, let me hold on, make sure I'm right. Right. Yeah, because see, he's better. He's at least on that side of it. Well, and once okay. Here's, here's my here. issue also. Uh-huh. With, and I think that I think that one fit pretty good by the defense. Yeah. yeah. But why is Ellis getting wide? Who? Ellis, 71. His guy blocks right now down. And somehow, some way, he gets reached by. I don't, I don't think that's a reach. Go back. I think he, he's trying to maintain his gap with his outside on. So he's got the tackle coming. Yeah, he. I think Ellis is good. Yeah. yeah I think Ellis is good. And then Chuck's feeding right off of it. So I think Ellis yeah. is good. They're good. Good point. I thought that one was okay. But it's still fired up in the first these, half. <laughs> <laughs> these were better fits. Yeah, see, I thought this one, they fit this one good. And then I don't know what. Missed tackle. I don't know what my man Double A was at. He, he froze. He got shook. Uh, and then Stevens, I'm going to have to get him on this too because I think he tried to throw a shoulder. Now Somebody hit him in the backfield. Yeah. Watch. That was Tavon. So see, watch. This why I see. So look how they fit the puller. Right, Malik yep. outside, Queen mm-hmm. sort of inside, 
and then Tavon coming to play cutback. And he's got him. If he's yeah, not but getting, he's getting pushed by. He's not getting blocked. He makes that tackle. And then it was so the, honestly, the, I mean, if we're blocking the back, technically. Yeah. But here, here's the beauty that's of having a third linebacker and not a nickel corner. Especially at the point of contact, that's blocking the back. Yeah. That's a missed call. Yeah. Had this been somewhere else on the field, maybe you let it go. But, yeah. I like, like That's why I put this on the good because I thought the fit was good here. Yeah, the fit, the fit is good. perfect. It's what the you fit want. It's good. <laughs> the fit is good. And right here, where I just get froze right there on the backside and then bring yeah, the shoulder in. And, that and now we're trying to get the ball out instead of make tackles. He's trying to get the ball. And Marlon said that after the game. He said he's trying to get the ball out instead of making a tackle. But if you get him down to 30, now they got to go first. 30 more yards. 30. Not first and goal from the eight. All right. Yeah, see, they saw more power. Broncos ran more power than some of the other teams who have been doing a lot of wide zone stuff. And they fit that pretty good in this game. See, there you go again. Mm. Oh, between Hillman and Stevens. That wasn't a bad fit. Yeah. Mm. Two by, years the, by the team, it was a bad fit. But I, my eyes be focused on Queen. And see, see we have no right too. I don't, I'm not sure, was Malik boxing or Spiller? That's the, that's the, we don't know. Cause see, look where he's at. I mean, I don't. Know I would assume outside. he's supposed to spill because he's got he's got Stevens outside. Yeah, and it kind of works out that way, but I'm I'm not sure. I don't think he really knew. <laughs> he decided to blow it up. <laughs> right. Do this because sometimes. But in doubt. <laughs> and honestly, if Stevens don't walk down on this, they got to play. Hmm. See, right there. It looks like he wants to box him. Ooh, mm-hmm. If he gets skinny, he he may hit his head on a goalpost. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If Stevens is not in on this, this they got to play. Now, to his credit, though, whether he fit this incorrectly or not, he still comes off mm-hmm. and makes sense on his side. Yep. Because he's a big, strong Football dude. Butt. Exactly. He's big strong. He's still 6'5, 250. I mean, he's a big strong dude now. Good job of scraping over the top, Queen. Yes. That's how you get over the top. See guard, get over the top. And they're in a 4 3 look with Chuck Clark walking down as the strong as the that's, you can, that's a great job linebacker. of scraping. Yeah, y'all could probably see from these videos. When it's gap scheme, they fit those pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's it's very straightforward. It's that gap, when you're in pulling and gapping and all that other stuff, it reads your keys. Yep. Yeah. Cause you can see here they come, right? Fitting inside the puller, fitting outside the puller, scraping. It's a beautiful linebacker play. Yep. Yeah. Let's see it one more time. Makes you feel good. All warm and fuzzy inside. Look at that. Keep coming, board. Yes. Even Chris Board. Chris Board get in there. Who? 49. He had a rough that was a joke. preseason. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> he had a very rough preseason. Hey, look, I got I got to hear from Denar too, coach, about Chris Board. So. <laughs> <laughs> but again, you talk about it. Yes. Like, this if you is go, my favorite play right here. If you Just don't go, go. go. Just go. If you're gonna go, go. Go all the way. So it took he he got a hand. Two people had to stop what they were doing to block him, and he still made the tackle. Because with his speed, if he just goes, he's gonna wreak some havoc. Now, right? We're gonna have to deal with it. The down block miss. The puller had to not pull to try to get a hand on him, and he still made the tackle. He's on. He's starting to watch more film too. Yeah, you can go. Tell. There it is. So I think I think he knew that play, like you said, yep. from film he's study. Starting to watch more film. Telling this gap stuff, he's cool on that. Well, you for saw the, that a lot in the SEC. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that 100, but for the most part, better than the zone stuff. This is my favorite play. I, I literally fall in love with Josh Bonds every time I see it. Yeah, there's no hesitation. Look at mine then, because my eyes was focused on Queen. There's no hesitation. Mine's at the middle. I'm gone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember that. Right I remember now. saying that's how you play Mike right there. Yeah. Live in that game. I remember saying it out loud. 
We were there. Mm, so get it. In the stands. Oh, y'all went to the game? Yeah. We okay. we literally had the all 22 view from where we were. <laughs> man, we could have we could have touched the clouds, man. Wait, wait. <laughs> I will say this. There's not a bad seat in that place. Really mm-hmm. not. I say that about the Superdome too. And I've sit I've sat um on the second to the last row of the Superdome. It's not a bad seat now to me. We weren't that far from the last row. We might have been like six or seven from yeah. the last row. Was... Got penetration up front. Pretty all the just pretty much all the Bengals did was wide zone, strong wide zone week. But you know they played it not bad at times. Those two long ones made it look like it was. Who's, going. who's that making this tackle? Because all they did was beat, just was more athletic than the lineman and beat him to the gap. But that's that queen, thirteen million dollar oh, queen. <laughs> but that's the beautiful part that's about funny. that's the you know as the, as the offensive guru that's what you want though you want 24 carries for 55 yards but i only need three to pop right and it's 27 for 180 and you're like what happened <laughs> <laughs> when they do this this kind of works so you'll see you know b will he he's gonna lag the center right he's just going back door and they just gap exchange it. yep and that's that's using queen speed. Mm-hmm. So, like to you, like what you guys were saying before. When are we just going to have a home, and when are we going to be able to play together long enough? So I know, okay, you are going back door. We get we 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 switching gaps. All right, I need to go front door. And start everything being a, being a call. Yeah, let's just play. Cause see that guard thought he was hooking. Uh, be weird. Yep. Let's just play ball. That's what he thought. Yep. In yeah. his defense, he, he didn't run his track. He didn't trust his, his technique, and he blew it. And then if you can – The backside off. guy had no chance against Queen with that speed. No. You, can keep, you can keep bodies off him. You know we can We know we can run. Yep. And even the then, thing is, even if he don't play so well, if you can keep people off of him, he can make tackles. Yeah. Even here, he had a little bit of a read step, which is cool. And then, bye. You see how Josh Spines went there, used his hands, and exploded on the guard, stood him straight up. I just bang. <laughs> oh. That's a dude. Spain is 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 a is a big powerful dude, man. Sixty seven, Quentin Spain. Mm-hmm. You can't Buffalo. But if you shoot your hands, bang. It, it doesn't matter. Get your hands inside. Life is easy. Look at Chuck. Chuck loving it. All right. So hey. That's a good note, right? Let's 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 yeah, finish on, on a better note. Let's finish on a good note. I know it was looking like you know a little rough there early, but that's I wanted to start that way on purpose because I said, hey, you know what? If I don't, I can't find this tag on mouse. There it is. If I uh, if I end on that, if I, if I had flipped the order, you've been in here cursing. I think <laughs> we gonna be in here cursing anyway. <laughs> Feel a little bit better, right? Because you say, "Hey, yeah." yeah. You Especially know, with, with him playing a lot more weak yeah. instead mm-hmm. of um, as much, much Mike. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Because they're going to get a heavy dose of zone against Ooh. the Vikings. That's mm-hmm. what they they Kubiak style. Yep. See, here's the like, difference. Kubiak got his his son calling the play. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Here's the difference, though, and I and I'm glad you brought that up. If the Minnesota is successful in running the football this week, wholesale changes need to happen. I am I'm dead serious about this. Wholesale changes need to happen because you have a unathletic quarterback in a zone scheme. You should be able to eat him up a lot. If he, be, if he beats you no with a boot, so be it. So be it. Yeah, he ain't running away from nobody. On your He's own. not. <laughs> so I say what I said again. Dalvin Cook. <laughs> if you allow Dalvin Cook to run for over 100 yards, there need to be wholesale changes. Unless he got 35 carries for 100 yards. Mm, yes. <laughs> the the only, only exception. Hey, Lamar, need, Lamar need to get that payback. Apparently, they paid, but they played back at high school in the playoffs one year, first round playoff game when uh, mm. Cook at Miami Central. 
and uh, they beat the brakes off of, uh, off of Boy. <laughs> but Dalvin said, look, man, Lamar, everybody knew how real he was. He said he hadn't seen him before that game. You'd heard about this quarterback over at Boynton Beach, but he hadn't seen him. Because they said we were just running through everybody. Mm -hmm. Running through everybody. And then this guy just kept scoring. They were like, we were scoring, but he kept scoring. And he was the only thing keeping them in the game. I think they still ended up winning by like two or three touchdowns just because, you know, Lamar didn't have really nobody else around him. Mm -hmm. that Miami Central team, I want to say two or three of those dudes are in the league. Off that team. Probably more. Some, yeah, Probably more. Uh, half that team went to Miami or <laughs> Florida State. It was, it was a bunch of dudes on that team. So uh, maybe Lamar can get some payback this time around. But, yeah, I, I like their chances in this game. You know, the Vikings, they got some talent on offense. Obviously, you got Dallin mm -hmm. Cook, Justin Jefferson. Thielen. But I don't know, man. Kirk Cousins, I've never been a believer. Even when he was with Washington, I wasn't a believer. Mm. I got a lot of Washington fans because I'm in the DMV. A lot of Washington fans in my family. But. I just thought about it. I should have tried to get the ESPN lady for the Vikings on my show because my last podcast before I stopped podcasting was an interview with her because she used to cover sports in Mississippi. So she she did a, a little a Courtney Cronin. Okay. She does the ESPN and stuff for the Vikings. And I, I just thought about, I should have, I wish I had thought about that earlier, but now it's kind of late in the week. That would have been a good episode. <laughs> Might be you get something real quick. Might be able to reach out to her and say, hey, just, just give me a little bit of time. Yeah, but she worked for ESPN, so I know her time is valuable. That's a little bit different, yeah. <laughs> right. She didn't work for the newspaper. She worked for ESPN. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit different. Hey, well, look, any any final thoughts on this before we wrap this thing up? We we just crossed over an hour, so we're good on time. I think whenever you're doing film, I always kind of expect you're going to be probably right around an hour when you're looking at film. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Really, you know, shed some light on some things. But, it, again, left left me in a, a positive note for, as far as um making corrections and, and getting ready for this, this second half run. Because, again, as bad as we've played and as much as we complain and talk about our team, we're still 5-2. Still 5-2. and two. Nobody in I don't think anybody in the AFC has one loss. I think everybody has two. Yeah. That's true. And that's a couple teams in the NFC with one loss. But in the AFC, everybody like the the big dogs are all two losses. And somebody two. said, hey, this is this is the ninth time in their history they've been five and two at this point in the season. They've been around for 22, 23 years. Mm. And they've been five and two the last three years since Lamar took over. Yep. So you know, it's a good team. Yeah, it I is. Sometimes we get down in the weeds and we're looking at plays, and you're like, "Come on, now, we got to, we got to be better than this." But it's a good team. But here's the beautiful part of the whole thing: they're probably in the scale of good teams right now. They're on the bottom of it because they haven't played well yet. Yes, that's the that's the scariest part of it. And the teams, teams around the league are wondering if they're going to figure it out. Because if they figure it out, Trouble. particularly on defense, Trouble. oh, boy. Yeah, well, we saw it in person at that Chargers game. When, when they, they figure it out, it's scary. They feel like, yeah. And Deshaun Elliott said it. To, well, no, it was it was Wink. Wink said, well, if we start tackling people on defense, yep. <laughs> you're going to see a different defense. Exactly. And you need Marlon Hump you need Humphrey to show to shake off what held him in the first half of the season. Shake it off. Come on, big dog. You know the you can thing play is, we, we we expect more out of Marlon, but Marlon's not getting tested a lot. No. If 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 I had to look it up, I would say AA is in the top echelon of targets, of being targeted or whatever the correct way is to say it. Yeah. They they thrown at, at Avery. He was number one coach going into the Bengals game. Okay, I I, I assumed he was number one. Bengals put the script and said we just gonna throw in routes on Humphrey. He him. He said oh. even, even being the most targeted corner in the league, he's held his own. I but think he so too. He held his own, in my opinion. I mean, I think had, the only thing AA give up regularly are timing routes, and every cornerback gonna get him up if the quarterback and the receiver got good timing. Yeah, yeah, and that's what happened in the Colts game. They just kept mm -hmm. throwing that out mm -hmm. right on time. Yeah. On the right. body on the break, and there ain't there ain't much you can do about that. Because you gotta protect the deep first, unless yep. you MP, and you're just gonna jump some. <laughs> and don't you, you know what about you know what I've been very proud of with AA though. 
when he first came in the league, double moves would eat him alive. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, as soon as he came on the field, we just like, what is it, third or fourth snap? They're going to try to double move and figure this out. And he has improved so far on his technique and how he does things and how he goes about his business out there. It's going to be interesting this all season what they do with him. To get that bag. Yep. Unfortunately, I hate to I hate to see them losing, but he about to get that bag, <laughs> in my opinion. The thing Cooper, is, he, he whoever, whoever he fools into paying him, I gotta realize he's not number one corner. He's oh. number three corner. Yes. Number two, if 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 you if you got good safety. True. Or or if you got good D line play. Yeah. He could be a number two corner for like the Rams. Yeah. That crap they got up front now. Yeah. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Oh. It's ridiculous. But you know how the market is. The free agent market will pay a number three like a number two and a number two like a number one. Mm-hmm. They'll end up with the Jets with like $60 million and then be back in Baltimore in two years. <laughs> <laughs> he, put, he put him on the Josh Bynes plan. He on the Josh right. Bynes plan. We're going to make Don't some other paid. Stuff. Like Don't the key, go get paid in Chicago. Take your two years off. Come on back. We'll take care of you. With a pay cut. Yeah. Hey, well, look, I appreciate both of y'all time, your knowledge. Hey, everybody, look, we don't do a ton of film sessions just because it could be hard to get everybody together. And then, you know, there's work going into the film. You know, Coach is always watching film. So anytime you want to go to his channel, YouTube channel, Sip the Tally Films, you know, he's always looking at it. But when we do it, we want to do it like this, right? We want to do it big. We want it to be good. I want to have great guests on like coach Evans, obviously Denar always bringing the knowledge and the expertise. So thank y'all for listening, for watching, download, like, subscribe, all that, all that, right. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Uh, and we're going to get at y'all next time. We out of here.